Continuing tonight's military matters, the newly sworn in Secretary of the Army made his very first visit to Fort Hood today. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline is joining us now with more about Dr. Mark Esper's vision for Fort Hood and the Army. Hi, Jillian. Doug, Esper served 21 years in the Army, his last time on active duty back in 1996. He says his experience both inside and outside of the military is shaping his decisions both day in and day out. Four and a half months into the position, Secretary of the Army Dr. Mark Esper is getting reacquainted with the Army one base at a time. Secondly, make my own assessment of the state of the Army. Wednesday morning, Esper joined in PT with the 720th MP Battalion. He also held a town hall with military families and explored the 1st Cavalry Division Armored Forces and Field Artillery Units. Esper has big plans to modernize and reform the Army. It's trying to, you know, um, relearn old muscle movements in some cases. In other cases, it's trying to get the, the, you know, the staff, the bureaucracy to do things differently. He says one of the most important parts is adding new equipment like long-range precision firing systems and next-generation combat vehicles. I think uh, Fort Hood and the units here will be big beneficiaries of of those procurement efforts. This as the military comes off of a financial boost from Congress and a soldier pay raise. I like to say that you, you know, you fix your roof when it's sunny out and right now I see sunshine for a couple years. So we have to do everything we can over the next 18 to 24 months. And that includes adding updated military air power too. All these aircraft are old, uh, whether it's the Black Hawk Apache or Chinook. Uh, old in the sense that they've been in the inventory now for, for a few decades. Esper aims to breathe life into new recruiting ways. He says since the end of the draft, the Army has become more of a family business, something he says is actually not good for the Republic. And that's why new recruiting efforts are necessary to change that mindset in America. What's important is for us to continue to reach out to influencers, whether those are, of course, parents, but also principals and teachers and counselors and pastors, and really talk to them about what uh, an Army career could look like. Now, Dr. Mark Esper is visiting Fort Bliss in El Paso next. I did ask the secretary about his thoughts on the recent strikes in Syria. He called it successful and would not comment further. Doug, back to you. All right, Jillian, thank you very much.